Born and raised in the small town of Merrill, Michigan, brothers Bill and Tom Dufty led a non-traditional childhood. Early on, they showed a passion for reading and music. Both learned to play piano from a local nun who gave lessons for 50 cents. While Bill kept with the piano, Tom moved on to the saxophone, and at the ages of 10 and 12, they had a nightly radio show. WBCM, Bay City. And Amos and Andy was our lead-in act. <laughs> they were on at 7 o'clock. We went on at 7.15, so we had a good audience. Despite their similar interests, the brothers often had disagreements, which progressively pushed them apart. That's the scene of one of the first disagreements. I was down on the sidewalk alongside the porch, and he dropped uh, one of them wooden go-karts that he used to have for kids. And he wanted to, we had one of them, and I was only about two or three, and he was five or six, and he dropped it over the edge of the railing on my head. Bill was active in the UAW as a speechwriter during his college years. On the other hand, Tom was content to stay near home working at his father's gas station. And uh, the guy that was a customer of the gas station one, one day come in and asked me what I was going to do for the future. And, and I didn't know. And, so he offered me a job driving truck and hauling potatoes. So I said, great. He said, can you drive a semi? And I said, I don't know. I never did, but I'll try it. And we went around the block, and he hired me. I have been very fortunate. I never had a day in my life when I didn't want to go to work. Because uh, he was stationed at uh, in Buick in a school for airplane mechanics. And he had about as much aptitude for airplane engines as a camel. I think they put him there just so they knew where he was, because he was known as a radical. After his short career at the New York Post, Bill went on to author several books, the most famous being Lady Sings the Blues, co-authored by good friend Billie Holiday, and another book, Sugar Blues, about the nutritional dangers of sugar. Tom had another take on the diet. He never ate breakfast, ate just before bed, and he regularly consumed Little Debbie cakes, claiming they made him energized. It's quite a long Wait. ride. Yeah. So, hi, Tom. 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 Hi,
bad. But either way, and I wouldn't trade it for anything else that happened, but I think that's a turning point. That and draft beer and bologna sandwiches.